What's up guys, TC here, and today I wanted to show you three different traps I designed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how each one functions, and then I'm going to show you how it actually works. Alright, so the first one here is designed to look kind of like a natural cave. And you'll see this is actually oil on the ground here, and that plays a really important part in this trap. So, someone goes in, they see this chest down here, they go to open it, nothing in it. But if you look back here, you'll see lava has just spread out. Now it's turning all the oil into lava. And this is a very, very important mechanic to this trap. Because in Starbound, oil, whenever it's touched by lava, converts all of the oil touched by it into lava. So you'll see this will just keep on spreading and turning it into lava. So what's happening here is, uh, let's hop over here and take a look. You might probably already know, for some of you, let's, let's turn on full bright. So, these things right here are actually, uh, this little line here is actually a bunch of trap doors. So if we go over here, you'll see there's a trap, well, a pressure plate here. So when I step on it, you'll see those close. See them close? Now up here is where the lava was. So whenever you step on this, like this, the lava drops down, touching the oil, which lights all the oil on fire. Now all of these are connected to, the, these trap doors are all connected to a wall toggle, which is over here. And all this does is like, it turns the, instead of you stepping on it and just opening them briefly, this toggles them on and off, right? So that means that it'll leave it open so the lava can drop down into it. The next trap I have, let's toggle Fulbright off. And turn that off as well. So this one, uh, you go up through here, and you'll look over here and you'll see there's a door. And most people associate these little things next to the door as like the button to open the door, right? Well, on this one, you walk up, go to enter, and all of a sudden you fall down into this. Now, if you look, this is Tesla spikes, lava, and poison. And so when you fall in here, you're going to take fall damage, you're going to take Tesla spike damage, poison damage, and lava damage. Now, normally this wall would not be here, like this opening. I'm doing this so I can get out. But like that, there's really no way for them to get out. And the it uses a toggle again, which means that there's no way for them to fly out. They're pretty much stuck in there. So I'm going to go back up here and I'll show you how it works with Fulbright on so you can see exactly what's going on. So let's turn on Fulbright. And again, you'll see these are actually uh, trap doors. So see all of these are toggled to this motion sensor. And you would think this motion sensor here is tied to this door, but it's tied to this. So whenever they go over, they think they're going in this door and these fall out from under them. Right? So let's watch it in action. You go closer and you fall. And you fold it into here, right? So let's pop this open real quick. There we go. Yeah. If that could easily kill you very fast, especially the Tesla spikes. So let's uh let's show you the last one I have here. And I'll show you how it works. So let's toggle off Fulbright. So here's the last one. And this one's kinda it looks like it's not that hard. Like there's just some saw blades here. You can just kind of bypass it however you want, right? And you go to open this chest, and all of a sudden you look back and you'll actually see poison pouring in. So you, maybe if you turn it off, that'll help, but thats it's not going to save you at this point. So now you've got stuck in here with poison and saw traps. If you try to get out, you can, but you've got to take a ton of poison damage. So what's happening here is simply this is a trap door right here. And then if we go up, there's another trap door up here. This is two chambers of poison just... I put two there for good measure, but again, this is using trap doors, and it uh, it opens up whenever you open this trap chest, so if I walk up, you'll see it close. So whenever I open it, it it's attached to a toggle like the other ones were, which makes it kind of like a, an on-off switch in the form of a button. Now over here, you'll see this actually connects to this thing here. This actually, uh, so you open it and it shuts this door, right? which kind of traps you in. However, if you reshut it, it'll turn it off, but it doesn't really matter because the poison's still in here. Typically, they would open it and then try to run, but then they would be trapped. And even if they go back and close it, that doesn't stop the poison, right? So, uh, that's pretty much all I got. I'm working on a couple more designs. I think I have a really cool one in mind. You guys, uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.